channel everyone I'm Megan Remedy holistic nutritionist and today's video I thought I would do a grocery haul a farm grocery haul again for you because I haven't done one in a while and we just got an order from the farm yesterday I'm also going to be doing a what I eat in a day video today so to start out we have the pasture raised eggs from the farm now be careful at the grocery store this is why i get everything from the farm because the grocery store will use words like pasture raised and free range and organic to sell their eggs because they're catching on to the marketing terms but they're not true pasture raised eggs and i will show you right here in a picture of the difference on how to tell if they're pasture raised or not so the pasture raised egg yolks will be a lot deeper in color they will look a lot more nutritious they'll be orange instead of yellow um, and the taste will be completely different the taste is much more rich um, and flavorful so be careful for those scams at the grocery store and that's why I just usually skip the grocery store unless I am running low on something and I haven't um, had the farm deliver yet I'll go to the grocery store but for the most part I like to support local farms for that reason because the quality is completely different and you cannot get quality like that at the grocery store so speaking of that our meat here trying some organs this week so I've never had a heart so this is a beef heart to get out of the package so you can see And then I've had liver before, so this is beef liver. I have some bones here. I'm not drinking as much bone broth in the summer now. I have some here, but when I cook something, I do use, use bone broth in it. I have some large sardines here. They're frozen, two packs, and then some canned sardines. I um, have some heavy cream here, it's raw cream, and some raw Greek yogurt. So I'm addicted to this yogurt, it's so good, I can't even explain how amazing it is. I can't stop eating it. It's nice for like a breakfast or a little snack. The cream, I've been making like a cream sauce to add on top of steak, it's really tasty. Um, I have some beef stew meat, so I really enjoy making like a stew in the slow cooker. Here is a chuck roast. Some ground beef with organs. So if you don't like organ meat, getting it ground in with the beef, uh, you won't even taste it. This is a nice way that I like to sneak in organs. I make chili out of it. I make like taco meat anything that you would use regular ground beef for and i feel like after i've had organs mixed into my ground beef i do not like regular ground beef it just doesn't taste as flavorful um, and i don't crave just plain ground beef as much as i do the ones with the organs um, next i have some unsalted butter and again you can see how deep the color is whereas the butter at the grocery stores will be pretty much white it won't have that yellow color now it does vary um, depending on the season in the spring and summer months the butter will be darker because the cows are obviously on grass more in the winter they're being fed more hay and things like that um, and not exposed to the sun as much so the color will not be as deep but you definitely want to look for a butter that has a deeper yellow color because that's showing that it has more nutrients in it and uh, be careful that they're not adding dyes if you're getting it from the store it depends on your area but this is raw and unsalted next i have some raw cheese this is colby this is feta and this is swiss and i just add it to my meals throughout the week as i go 
it's nice to get in some extra fat. It definitely helps me eat the meat. It makes the meat more palatable for me because you guys know that I'm not a huge fan of meat, but it makes me feel so much better. So I try and sneak it in where I can. Um, since it's the weather's been warmer, I am enjoying more salads. So I have some romaine lettuce here because I can't handle any other greens. Romaine lettuce is probably one of the most benign lettuces out there. It doesn't really have a lot of anti-nutrients in it. So that is the one that I choose. I just like the crunch and the, the freshness of it. But I do douse my salad in like cheese and eggs and bacon. I have some smoked salmon. This is not from the farm. I just got it from a organic grocery store. So you're going to see in my breakfast and the what I eat in a day video that I enjoy putting the smoked salmon on toast with egg yolk and the raw butter sourdough toast. It's so good. And then we have some raw milk. I swear by this raw milk. It has really helped heal my digestion. Uh, I have it pretty much every morning um, in my coffee. I drink a big glass of it. And I swear by this because it has really helped me heal my lactose intolerance. So I could never handle dairy before. And since I've been eating and drinking raw dairy i can now handle having pasteurized dairy here and there because the enzymes in the milk are still present when you eat raw foods they help replenish your enzymes so the raw milk is helping me replenish those enzymes because lactase is present in raw milk to help you digest it once you pasteurize the milk lactase is no longer active and the bacteria also that's present, the natural good bacteria in the milk will help you digest milk um, when you are, milk or cheese when you're drink when you're eating it pasteurized because that bacteria colonates the um, digestive system. I also have some sauerkraut here. It's really good. Also, I wanted to add, because everyone keeps asking me where I'm getting raw milk in Canada, when I'm showing you guys my farm hauls um, of raw milk, I'm not in Canada, I'm in New York. I'm back and forth between Canada and New York, so just to add that in, I'm not getting raw milk in Canada. I wish I had a link for raw milk in Canada, and if I did, I wouldn't tell anyone, obviously. But yeah, I'm not in Canada when I'm drinking raw milk. I have found some raw cheese at some of the grocery stores in Canada, or it's not labeled raw, it's labeled unpasteurized. Um, some of the cheese imported from Italy is also labeled unpasteurized. So if you are in Canada, I think that's one of the only options if you don't have your own farm. Um, I also suggest people make like homemade yogurt from raw coconut meat if they don't have access to raw milk just to get some live probiotics and some good fat into the diet it is another option or to make your own coconut milk at home because the ones in the grocery stores are filled with additives and preservatives and barely any coconut in them or just try and change the laws in canada or move somewhere else. I don't know what really to tell people about the raw milk issue because when I go back home, it definitely irritates me a little bit. I think it's absolutely ridiculous that people have access to, you know, cigarettes. They have the choice whether they want to poison themselves with cigarettes or not, but we don't have the choice whether we want to drink raw milk and take the risk of possibly getting sick from it because of contamination. Now, you have to obviously trust the source of where you're getting your raw milk from. If the cows are clean, the environment is clean, and the cows are healthy, you will not get sick from the raw milk. The reason why they have to pasteurize most of the milk supply is because these cows are in factory farms. They are very sick, 
and this is where the contamination happens, improper practices of handling the raw milk, etc. So I've been drinking this raw milk since January now, so for several months, and nothing has happened to me whatsoever. I actually feel amazing, and I've had a lot of benefits from it. When I used to eat dairy or drink dairy years ago, before I was vegan, I would break out, I would get hives, my throat would swell up, I would get cysts all over. I literally have no reaction to the milk or cheese when it's raw now. So it's been a huge change. A lot of people will say you can't, you know, cure or heal your lactose intolerance um, because it is a deficiency in the enzyme lactase to digest milk but in raw dairy products, that enzyme is present to digest the milk. Um, so your body doesn't have to produce it, but it will um, help replenish your enzymes in your body. So that is it today for the grocery haul. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about the products that I have shown here, leave them in the description below. I do get all of my farm groceries from a farm called uttermilk.com. So it's in the New York area. I think they only deliver in the New York area to specific locations, but they also have pickup locations at some of the farms. Um, I think some of the farms are in Pennsylvania. So if you would like to check them out, if you're in this area, I will put their website in the description. And yeah, their products are amazing. The meat, like the cow meat, tastes very gamey. So you know that it's healthy and the cows are raised on pasture. The milk as well also has like a gamey taste to it. Um, so when meat and milk products have that gamey taste, you know that the cows were raised naturally um, because otherwise grain-fed cows or factory farm animals they kind of just have like a neutral plain taste to them you don't really taste like the nature in it so if you're new make sure you subscribe if you like this video give it a thumbs up and comment below what you think about the content and go over to my what i eat in a day that i'm posting right after this one to check out that I'm doing a little bit of a different style. I'm going to be vlogging for the What I Eat in a Day video. So I hope you guys enjoyed that and I will see you later.